Hello students, welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through exponents and powers. In the previous video, we have seen the laws of exponents. For any two non-zero integers, a and b, Here m and n are whole numbers. In addition to this, we already proved that m and n can be integers for the first four laws. Now let's look at next one. For a non-zero integer a, a raised to m whole raised to n equals a raised to m multiplied by n, where m, n are whole numbers. Consider 9 raised to 2 whole raised to 3. A raised to m, the whole raised to n, equals a raised to m, n. We can write 9 square, the whole cube, equals 9 raised to 2 multiplied by 3, equals 9 raised to 6. That is, 9 square the whole cube, equals 9 raised to 6. Does this law also hold if the exponents are negative? Let's check. Consider 4 raised to minus 3 the whole raised to 4. We can write 4 raised to minus 3 as 1 by 4 raised to 3. Then, 4 raised to minus 3, the whole raised to 4 is equal to 1 by 4 raised to 3, the whole raised to 4. Equals 1 divided by 4 raised to 3 the whole raised to 4. Equals 1 by 4 raised to 3 multiplied by 4 equals 1 by 4 raised 12 equals 4 raised to minus 12. That is, 4 raised to minus 3, the whole raised to 4, equals 4 raised to minus 12. By observing the powers on both sides, we get minus 3 multiplied by 4 is equal to minus 12. Let's see another example. Evaluate 2 raised to minus 5 whole raised to minus 2. We can write 2 raised to minus 5 as 1 by 2 raised to 5. Since a raised to minus m equals 1 by a raised to m, then 2 raised to minus 5, whole raised to minus 2, becomes 1 by 2 raised to 5, whole raised to minus 2, equals 1 divided by 2 raised to 5, whole raised to minus 2, equals 1 by 1 by 2 raised 5, whole raised to 2, equals 1 multiplied by 2 raised to 5 whole raised to 2 equals 2 raised to 5 multiplied by 2 equals 2 raised to 10 that is 2 raised to minus 5 whole raised to minus 2 equals 2 raised to 10. here also we can see that the product of powers minus 5 and minus 2 is 10. So we can write it as 2 raised to minus 5 whole raised to minus 2 equals 2 raised to minus 5 multiplied by minus 2 equals 2 raised to 10. That is a raised to m whole raised to n equals a raised to mn is also applicable to the negative powers. Therefore, we can say that for any non-zero integer a a raised to m 
whole raised to n equals a raised to m n, where m n are integers. Now, let's look at next rule. We know when a non-zero integer a is divided by itself, we get one as the quotient. That is, a by a equals one. Also, we can do this by the law. a raised to m divided by a raised to n equals a raised to m minus n. We can write a by a equals a raised to one divided by a raised to one equals a raised to one minus one equals a raised to zero. By comparing equations one and two, we get a raised to zero equals one. In general, for any non-zero integer, a a raised to zero equals one. Let's recall what we discussed today. For any non-zero integer a, a raised to m whole raised to n equals a raised to m n, where m and n are integers. For any non-zero integer a, a raised to zero equals one. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Evaluate. First, minus four whole raised to two, the whole raised to minus 13. Second, five raised to minus one, the whole raised to seven. Third, nine raised to zero, the whole raised to three. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.